guys and welcome to the family fudge now that Christmas is over it's time to start talking about New Year's Eve specifically New Year's Eve recipes so today I'm sharing three different ideas that are perfect additions to any New Year's Eve party whether you have adults or kids these recipes are crowd pleasers they're easy to make and they're sort of a twist on an old classic First up, I'm going to share my recipe for a buffalo chicken dip. Now this dip has a lot of flavors of your traditional hot wings, but made more kid friendly and made a lot easier by using rotisserie chicken from the store. After that, I have a really fun party drink to share with you, otherwise known as a mocktail. You guys know I love my mocktails, such as Dirty Cokes, but now I have a new one and it's called a Dr. McCreamy. This mocktail is definitely one of my favorites, and it's also perfect for people who prefer Dr. Pepper over Coke. Last up, I'm going to be sharing a dessert. I'm making individual no-bake cherry cheesecakes. Now this is definitely not your traditional cheesecake that takes hours to make. This one can be thrown together in less than 30 minutes. And it's even easy enough that the kids can help you on this as well. Now usually on New Year's Eve when I get together with my family, we each bring one or two or three different dishes, small things that we can all share. So these recipes are perfect for that. Stay tuned and I will show you how to make them. Okay guys, now before we get started on all of these yummy recipes, make sure to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up if you like easy party foods. Now let's get started. My version of buffalo chicken dip is going to serve about 16 people and here's what you're going to need to make it. Eight ounces of room temperature cream cheese, about one and a half cups of cooked chicken, you also need anywhere between a quarter cup to a half a cup of your favorite buffalo wing sauce. Now because I'm making this for kids, I'm only going to put a quarter cup. But if I was making this for adults who like spicy food, I would put almost half a cup. You also need half a cup of prepared ranch salad dressing. I know that sounds weird, but just trust me, it's really good. Now I like to make my own ranch dressing, and I have a separate video on this if you'd like to check it out. I will link it down below. You're also going to need a lot of cheese. I'm using one cup of shredded Monterey Jack cheese and one cup of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. I'm also going to be using some parsley as a garnish. Now to go with our dip, I'm also going to be serving some crackers, some celery sticks, and some carrots. I'm going to start by preheating my oven to 350 degrees. Next, I'm going to spread my room temperature cream cheese all over the bottom of my baking dish. Now this baking dish is a one quart size, a little bit smaller than a nine by 13. Next, I'm going to add my chopped chicken, followed by my wing sauce and my salad dressing. And finally, all you have to do is sprinkle it with the cheese. Now I know this seems like a lot of cheese and it kind of is, but that's what makes this dip super good. So now I'm going to bake this uncovered for about 20 to 25 minutes or until the cheese is melted. And in this case, I don't really want the cheese to be brown and bubbly. I want it to just be melted. That way it's a lot easier to dip in with your chips without them breaking. And now it's time to make some yummy drinks. Now on this channel, I've shared quite a lot how I love dirty Cokes. And when I make a dirty Coke, I usually put ice, lime juice, coconut creamer, and Coke, and that's it. You just stir it all together. It's a mixture of tart and sweet. It's really good. But today I'm making a Dr. McCreamy. For this drink, all you need is Dr. Pepper, raspberry syrup, and some whipped cream. And it's really very easy. I just put some ice, some Dr. Pepper, then my raspberry syrup, followed by the cream. Now this next part is optional, but it's really nice if you can garnish it with some fresh raspberries. Now this is definitely a great choice for a non-alcoholic but special drink. And I really like the combination of Dr. Pepper with the nice fruit in there. And then when you add cream, it basically makes it into a dessert. Now moving on to the no-bake cherry cheesecakes. This recipe is going to make about six servings and here's what you're going to need. One eight ounce package of room temperature cream cheese, one can of sweetened condensed milk, one can of cherry pie filling, 
one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one third of a cup of fresh lemon juice. I'm also using some vanilla sandwich cookies instead of a traditional crust. This is gonna make it really quick and easy to throw together. And finally, right before I serve these, I'm going to squirt a little bit of whipped cream on top and maybe some crushed up cookies to make it pretty. I'm going to start by adding my cream cheese to a mixing bowl. And then I'm gonna use my hand mixer to beat it up just a little bit. I want it nice and soft with no lumps. Next, I'm going to add my vanilla extract and my sweetened condensed milk and mix it all up. Followed by the lemon juice. You just wanna give everything a good mix until it's completely combined. And the tart lemon juice really helps to balance out all the sugar in this dessert. Once that is all mixed up, I'm gonna go ahead and drop one cookie into the bottom of each of my cups, followed by about three spoonfuls of our mixture. I'm gonna to top that with my cherry pie filling and then get it in the fridge. It's best if you can chill this for about 10 to 20 minutes. You could even make it the night before if you'd like. Now just before I serve this, I am gonna add some whipped cream and some crushed up cookies. Okay friends, I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, could you please give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below, what do you make for New Year's Eve? Now, if you'd like to see more videos from me, you can do that by clicking on the links up here or down there. And if you'd like to subscribe, you can do that by hitting my face right down there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.